Sonic boom, huh? Well, Sonic surely did went boom. For those of you who have been living under a fucking rock, I'll fill you in. Sonic Boom is shit. Do I think the whole series is bad in general? Uh, for the most part, uh, yeah. But there are two exceptions for this series. That being the animated show, and Sonic Dash 2. Hardlight, you did me proud. You did me proud. Sonic Dash 2 is obviously a follow-up to Sonic Dash 1 because it says 2. And I gotta say, I'm quite pleased with the results. Don't get me wrong, this game's not a 10 out of 10. It's not a 9 out of 10. This game is far from perfect. Levels still play out identically the same. Uh, the game is really littered with ads. In fact, it's actually worse than Sonic Dash because in Sonic Dash, it kind of went by in a certain pattern. If you die, you get an ad, and if you die again, you don't get an ad. But in this game, every time you die, you get an ad. It, it's just, okay, fine, whatever. But I can kind of forgive it because it actually does introduce new mechanics that actually make the game worthwhile and actually pretty interesting and I was pretty intrigued in this game when I was playing it. Everything felt more lively and it had a lot more variety and this game didn't feel derpy or just complete bullshit as all hell. It was actually pretty fun and I'm not even gonna lie, the atmosphere felt more lively, the rose petals from the trees falling they into it falling into the screen felt cup. fucking awesome. Like the atmosphere really did feel more lively than Sonic Dash 1 where in Sonic Dash 1 it was literally just a fucking platform that just had nothing in it, literally, but in this game, it had a lot more variety in it. But I'm not here to talk about the atmosphere, because that's not what I'm here to admire. I'm here to admire the mechanics that were introduced. You can rail grind, you can use a grappling hook to get in the air and start actually tilting the phone to actually turn your damn character. That's fucking genius. Oh, and the best part is... They actually added new mechanics for each and every character, so that each and every character actually doesn't do the same thing as the last character. I'm not even lying to you, it's fucking awesome. I give Sonic Dash 2 a 6 out of 10.